Welcome to today's video where we'll dive into the world of machine learning algorithms. In this video, we'll explore 14 popular machine learning algorithms and walk through the process of applying them to a multiple sclerosis dataset using R programming. Table of Contents After importing dataset, you can review dataset and descriptive statistics reported as table using cable extract package. Then, correlation plot to review the direction and magnitude of relationship between variables. Then comes 2x2 two two confusion matrix, and finally the amazing part of prediction. For each one of the 14 algorithms, you get a confusion matrix with statistics, and also four folded confusion matrix for all algorithms, next to each other. In prediction section, we use one of the rows in test data as new data. Here is the prediction matrix of all 14 algorithms. Actual value of dependent variable is shown in the title. From the reported matrix, you will see whether all algorithms predict the dependent variable correctly or which of the algorithm predictions are in line with actuals. First of all, I should thank Mayo Clinic for an introduction on multiple sclerosis and related image as reproduced here. Next I would like to thank Kaggle.com for the dataset on this subject. For more details, please follow the links provided in this document. First things first, let's declare the libraries, next download dataset from the Kaggle link provided above. Next let's import the dataset into R and perform some initial cleansing, say for example, removing ID column and two other columns having all null values. Next, let's declare parameters and variables, amazing part of the R script is here, the entire machine learning process gets fully dynamic, once you declare these parameters and variables. In our MS dataset, group is the dependent variable, the group column has two values as 1 and 2, as declared as binary 1 and binary 2. Next, we declare the text for those binary values which are CDMS and non-CDMS. You could refer the column description for the expansion of CDMS and non-CDMS. Next table shows the for 10 rows of the MS dataset, just for a quick overview. Next table is on descriptive statistics for all numeric columns in the dataset. If you need some statistics for your article, like mean and standard deviation, you could directly take it from this document. Here is the correlation plot. Positive and negative signs represent the direction, and intensity of the color represents magnitude of the correlation. This visual representation helps quickly identify patterns and relationships within the data. For instance, darker or more intense colors may indicate stronger correlation. Next, as of additional information, a table is provided with all correlation values. Next, let's start working on supervised machine learning. As a first step we need to split the dataset into training and test datasets. We use the function named sample and split the dataset in 70-30 ratio. Now let's jump into building models one by one. Multiple 2x2 two two confusion matrix with statistics is built using a custom function. Thanks to stackoverflow.com. I have added few functionalities to that. We are building here a data frame with all required values and run the custom function to generate such a beautiful and informative confusion matrices. Here is the beautiful prediction matrix for 14 algorithms. One of the rows in test data is used as new data to predict values for each one of the algorithms. Actual target value for the selected row in test data is provided along with title. This colorful matrix is built using KBL function and HTML tags to configure background color and text font. From the reported matrix, you will see whether all algorithms predict the dependent variable correctly. Or which one of the algorithm's predictions are not in line with actual target value. Such a reproducible report is built on Quart OR Markdown. You could see nicely arranged table of contents. Scripts are provided with suitable comments and explanations and easy to follow. I have uploaded three files on github.com, such as Quarto document, HTML report, and multiple sclerosis dataset. Necessary link is provided in video description. Looking for your valuable comments and feedback. Thank you very much. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Your feedback on this video will help me a lot. Please leave a comment. To see more videos like this, consider subscribing.